Hey everybody, I'm Chris and today we're taking a look at how to create some cool AI glasses. First, you have to create a mask in Photoshop where you define the outlines of your glasses, then type in your prompts and generate some cool glasses. Uh, I go with this one and what I do now is I create some other kind of mask of these glasses. So I edit my text prompt just a little bit that I get some kind of vector image. It's not a real vector image, it's just like a vector image. So I can later on compile this to an SVG file. So I copy these into Illustrator. Here I use the image tracing. This creates some vector mask out of our image and I try to delete all gradients so that there are just flat colors. Then I ungroup everything. And so I have all the separate parts of the glasses. And now I just have to save it as an SVG file. With this file later on I can create some kind of 3D surface. So I go to Maya, open up the SVG creator and import my SVG file and you can see immediately that this file is generated. I can uh, optimize it a little bit. With this slider you can see I can uh, optimize the curve. Here I can decide if it gets extruded or if it gets beveled. In my case, I don't need anything of these. What's also necessary is go to the materials and make all the same material. This will uh, help you later on to don't run in any problems. Then you can just um, extract all the meshes so everything is a separate piece and then just delete the parts you don't need. Be careful, sometimes they can create some little pieces that you don't see pretty fast, um, but be sure to delete them to don't have any mess in your file. If you want to, you can optimize the mesh a little bit. Sometimes it's necessary, sometimes not. Then just split it up. With the multi-cut tool, you just can uh, split your glasses. So you can mirror them later on. Then you can give your object materials if you want to, but it's not necessary in this step. Next step is we combine all meshes together. That is that it's just one big piece. And then we remesh it. With the remesh options, you can play around a little bit. What's uh, necessary in this step is to create a higher and denser mesh so we can project our mesh on a surface to get a little bit of a volume. So in my case, I have created already some 3D surface where I want to project my glasses on. This step is the only step where you have to be a little bit more creative because you have to imagine Be sure that you cover the whole mesh with your new geometry so your projection will work fine. Then you can just subdivide your object or you create a subdiv proxy. With a subdiv proxy you're a little bit more active. And here I crank up the divisions a little bit. And then just 
uh, shrink wrap these two meshes together. In the shrink wrap options we have to play a little bit around. Um, and then we just move our object together so you can see in this state everything gets wrapped together. Right now there are some little problems if you look closer there are some flickering edges but this is no problem because you, you can just go in the shrink wrap options and click on closest and you will get a much better result. And now you can see we have a 3D surface. You also can optimize it. In my case, I just can uh, go to the low poly and maybe bring out this middle part a little bit to create a more three-dimensional volume. You also can play around more with this, but in my case, I think that's enough. Then you can just separate your meshes again that everything is a separate part and then I go to retopologize to make the mesh a little bit more structured. Here you can play around with the values to create a more or less good topology of the object. In my case, it don't have to be perfect, but I just want to reduce the pulleys a little bit and make it a little bit cleaner. In my case, I combine the glass surfaces together Then I extrude everything to create a little bit more volume. And I also selected all the border edges and the edges I want to make a little bit harder to create some bevel on it to give the glass a little bit more shape. The cool thing is you always can take a look on your reference file that you have created first with your stable diffusion renderer to uh, see how the surface had to look like. Then I repeat the process just for the glass fittings, the glass case. I extrude also everything select the borders, select the border edges and bevel them to make it a little bit more cozy. And also take a look on your reference file that you have created first to see how the glass should look like. That's not too bad. So now just mirror the glasses Now I can just repeat the process for the handles of my glasses. I import my SVG file again, make it flat, delete everything I don't need. And cut the handle in the right position with the multi-cut tool. And then I also can just extrude it, deform it a little bit and bring it in the right position. Thank you. 
and that's nearly it then just create maybe some little softbox punch in the right colors and maybe add some small details and render the shit out of it i hope this is helpful for you i'm also very interested in how you use ai in your 3d or 2d workflow please write it in the comments and see you next time